This is the town's laser institute, which is associated with the College of Optics and Photonics here at the University of Central Florida in uh, sunny Orlando. We're very proud to be home to several research centers. The town's laser institute, the Florida Photonic Center of Excellence, and the Institute for the Frontiers of Attosecond Science and Technology, IFAST. Creole is a microcosm of the idea behind the University of Central Florida, and that is to have a top-tiered academic organization that's weaved into the economic and social fabric of the community where it's located. The college is one of very few universities offering a comprehensive educational program in optics and photonics. Creole has a comprehensive research program. It covers the entire spectrum from terahertz to x-rays. Institute is named after Charles Hardtowns, Nobel laureate in physics in 1964, who invented the concept of the laser back in the early 50s. Unfortunately, passed away recently at the age of 99. Laser was first demonstrated 55 years ago in 1960. It wasn't very efficient. I think the efficiencies were something like about one hundredth of one percent in terms of power. Today's where now we have very high power laser system, efficiencies approaching 50%, maybe even more. With today's lasers, we can create those plasmas that are similar to the plasmas on the surface of the sun. With extremely high temperatures, and emit uh, lots of radiation. There are many applications of these plasmas even towards uh, creating thermonuclear energy. Uh, lots of industrial applications of lasers, uh, lasers, laser plasmas, laser processing of materials. In the Towns Institute, we are developing those lasers. We have invested very heavily in the latest generation of optical fibers, primarily because those fibers are very high power lasers can be built from. Our fiber laser facility is the largest academic facility for fiber research in the country. We are actually developing different types of lasers from high power lasers, so really for military applications, also to uh, lasers that are very, very tiny and serve for optical sensors. In this room we make optical fibers. This is a fiber draw tower. Pieces of glass are fed inside the furnace. It softens the glass at a high, very high temperature of about 2000 degrees Celsius. The glass gets soft and then drops by gravity. Then we pull it in a smaller diameter of pieces of material and then we can draw a fiber. We are developing new fibers to increase the capacity of the internet. We are also working on new high power fiber lasers that are used in many applications from manufacturing to medical devices. We try to make these lasers work in new and unique ways that will help increase the speed of today's fiber optic internet. These lasers typically come in single colors, and if you want to increase the capacity of a fiber optic network, what we're now doing is taking lasers with different colors, modulating them both at the fastest we can, and at the end of the fiber using a device like a prism to separate the colors. We have developed a, a unique approach of producing uh, frequency combs in the difficult to achieve mid infrared range. This technology is, is unique because now we're producing more than one octave wide frequency combs and we can do lots of things including breath analysis is a rising part of uh, medical research where by using a different molecules present in your exhaled breath you can detect numerous diseases. We use very high power lasers for different manufacturing applications. Laser cutting, welding, drilling, to develop new materials. This machine is an industrial scale positioning machine that is used for different types of materials processing. This system is coupled to two different uh, ultra-fast lasers, two different picosecond lasers that are working in different range of uh, parameters. 3D printing using lasers is another new exciting technology that is uh, being developed currently in, in Town State Institute. Another major facility is uh, the acquisition, just this past year, of a laser LIDAR facility. This is a large former Air Force facility on Merritt Island. We will be taking many of the laser technologies that we have developed. We will be able to explore their use in the outside environment. Lasers used for long-range sensing, telecommunications with satellites, high-energy lasers for weapons and other, other systems. This is Towns uh, Laser Institute's brand new optical materials laboratory. 
I lead the Glass Processing and Characterization Laboratory and our group focuses on developing novel glass and glass ceramic materials. We are developing the next generation of laser materials. We have to build tougher, larger, smarter materials that would enable to put more energy into them and deliver stronger laser beams for manufacturing, defense, scientific purposes. Where we shine is developing materials that are specific to certain functions that currently there are no real good solutions for. Not only do they have to have great optical performance for their application, but they have to be structurally strong, thermally robust, so that whether they're flying on a satellite out in space or being used on the front end of a hypersonic aircraft, and they still perform their function. What's really special about our team is really the cross-fertilization that occurs between myself and our colleagues, both within optics, but also across material science and the Nanoscience Technology Center. Future activities and optical materials coming out of UCF are really going to benefit from this cross-fertilization. Towns Institute has strategically invested into major facilities that will provide long-time support for many of the mission that the Towns Institute has outlined for its future. 